I'll never forget the first time I was in the dark room. I still remember the smell of chemicals and seeing my print come to life in the developer tray. How many of you have experienced something like that? Great. Some of you. How many of you have taken a phone, smartphone, and taken a selfie and posted it to Facebook? Pretty much everyone. The world is changing. Are you? Many of you know me as a photographer, but I wasn't always a photographer. Back in high school, I took a trade. I learned how to do drafting. And I learned how to do technical drawings with pencil and paper. Remember those? <laughs> and then when I went out into the working world, into the engineering field, they had already moved to computers. And I never touched a pencil and paper ever again. And I worked with this one program called AutoCAD for 15 years. And I became a master at it. I learned how to program it using C++ to make it more productive. And then my company started going downhill. And I decided, well, I'll call Autodesk, the company that makes AutoCAD. And I'll see if I can get a job working for them. So I called them up, and they hired me over the phone, and they moved me to Northern California. I was living in the tech mecca of the world. And everything was great until my world shattered. The dot-com bubble burst. The World Trade Center was attacked. And I got laid off. So I had to make a decision at that point. Do I stay in this career that I've been in for 20 plus years? Or do I go do something completely different? So I thought back to high school when I was in the dark room, developing my first print. And I said, I always loved photography. Why don't I go try and be a photographer? So I moved all the way back across country to Massachusetts, where I'm from. And I went to the best photography school in the country. And I learned how to do digital photography. So I had to learn new skills. And I had to be open to change. And now I'm here in Vegas, and I'm reinventing myself again. Because as we learned, technology changes. For instance, how many of you have watched a Netflix movie in the past week? OK, most of you. I guess the rest of you went to Blockbuster to pick up the movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I get movies off the internet. <laughs> I'm only kidding because Blockbuster has gone out of business. Did you know that Blockbuster had a chance to purchase Netflix? No. But they didn't think it was relevant. Oh my God. Wow. You need to learn new skills and be open to change if you want to stay relevant in your industry. That's what I'm doing. The latest trend right now is personal branding and video marketing. And that's why I'm up in front of you here today, learning how to become a better public speaker. Not so I can go give keynote speeches to Microsoft, but so I can create better videos for my business. As a photographer, I'm usually behind the camera, hiding, taking pictures. But now I have to get in front of the camera and talk to it. That's scary. So I'm practicing how to become a better public speaker. Change is coming to your industry, and to your industry, and to your industry. Doesn't matter what industry we're in. I've already seen change after change after change. So my goal is to create more videos for my business. That's what you need. You need more videos for your business. That's what you need for your business, more videos. And that's what you need for your business, more videos. 
You can have hundreds of the best salespeople in the world out there working for you 24 seven if you just create more videos and you have everything you need right now. You just need to take out your phone, point it at yourself and press record. Now, if you want more professional photos and videos, you can always hire me. <laughs> so I've got a special offer for you guys tonight. I'm going to give you my top 10 tips that you can use to improve your social media marketing right now, today. You just need to take out your phone and text the word digital to the number 444. 999. <laughs> and when you do that, I'll send you my top 10 tips. In addition to that, I'll also send you weekly tips and advice on how to use photos and videos to better market your business online. And one last bonus. Everyone will be entered to win a free headshot session with me, the king of headshots. <laughs> so take out your phone and do it now.